a year of plenty greetings in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Church on the Hill. We are bringing you the word of God during this lockdown right where you are. This is still your year of plenty. This is still your year of blessings, breakthroughs, miracles, overflow and wealth and good things that are flowing from God in heaven. I want you to remove your eyes from the economic uh, activities and the economic conditions around you and look up to God, your source. For calendar events for this week, I want you to check us out on all media platforms and see what is happening this week. If there is any thing whatsoever that you want Apostle uh, to bring to you, you can be free to submit your suggestions. We are still giving. We are still giving even during the lockdown. For our members, go to Coth Live website and check your branch details. And for those of you that just are touched by God and you want to give into this ministry, see our details below. Apostle NVG Lepoko will be bringing the word of God right where you are. So do not move, be comfortable, and receive the word of God with joy. Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Apostle MBG Lipoko of Church on the Hill, making you brighter, better, and bigger. Today I'm preaching to you on this powerful topic entitled, The Name of the Lord is a Strong Tower. The Name of the Lord is a Strong Tower. The anointing that is about to hit you this morning is something that you have not experienced in a long time. God is visiting you right now in the name of Jesus. Your situation is about to change. Things have shifted in the realms of the spirit in your favor. Let me say this again. Things have shifted in the realms of the spirit in your favor. We have been praying pulling down strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that the God has fallen down, the strong man has been bound in the name of Jesus. And now we are reclaiming everything that the devil stole from us, stole from you, stole from your family in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that when a thief is caught, he has to repay seven times, seven times of everything that he has stolen from you. Seven is a number of perfection, meaning that the devil has no choice but to fully restore or bring back what he has taken from you in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is your refuge. The name of the Lord is your defense. I'm so excited this morning about what God is about to do in your life as I stand before you this morning I want you to know that Satan and his demons are defeated Satan and his demons are under your feet in the name of Jesus I have come to deliver your package from God God has sent me to deliver your package this morning in the name of Jesus in this package hear me child of God there is peace in this package, there is protection, prosperity, perfect health, and the power of God. In this package, everything that you have been praying for is in this package. Be ready to receive it right now in the name of Jesus as I continue to declare that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. Let me help you maybe for a minute. Every morning when I wake up, I send words into the realm of the spirit. I declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It's very important for you to announce to the principalities and the powers in the air that a king, a queen, a prince, a princess has just woken up. The devil must give way. In the name of Jesus, this is what I do every morning when I wake up because I understand that every day 
that you wake up into is innocent, that they are uncontaminated, is waiting for you to speak words of life into that day. Hear me, child of God. Every day takes the shape that you create by the words of your mouth. So when I wake up every morning, I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in this day. And I begin to prophesy what I want to see happening in my life. I say, this day for me is filled with peace. I begin to quote scriptures from the Bible that this day is a day of peace for me and my family. I will not worry about anything in this day, but by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, I will make my request known to God and the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding will guard my heart and my, and my mind through Christ Jesus. And I declare the same for my family members. And I begin to say this day is a day of protection for me and my family members. And I begin to go to Psalms 91. And I declare that because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of God. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and He will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the Father and from some perilous pestilence. I begin to quote and declare the word of God, and at the end I say, I will live long because this is what God has promised to you, promised to me and to us. And I begin to say, this day is a day of prosperity for me and my family members. And I go to Jude, to, to Joel 2, 26. And I say, I will eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord my God who has dealt wondrously with me. And I will not be put to shame. My family will not be put to shame. This is what I do every morning, declaring the word of the Lord that riches and honor will not depart from my family. And I say, God wishes above all else that I may prosper and be in good health, even as my soul prospers. This is what I declare, saying this day, I walk in perfect health. My family members walk in perfect health by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. My wife, my children, I healed. God sent his word and healed me and delivered me from destruction. And I prophesy, I declare that this day is filled with the power of God. And I go to Ephesians 6 from verse number 10. I say, I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I have put on the whole armor of God that I may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For I know that I do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, I put on the whole armor of God so that I may be able to stand in the evil day, having done all but stand. I challenge you right now that every morning when you wake up, speak some words. I have been well taught that death and life are in the power of your tongue. Whatever you declare, whatever you say, it comes to pass. Remember, I'm speaking to you today on the topic, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. So I want us to go to the book of Proverbs right now in the name of Jesus. Maybe before that, let me read for you Romans 8, verse 26. Romans 8, verse 26. The Bible tells us that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. This is what the Apostle Paul says in Romans 8, verse 26. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. All things, not some things, all things. All means all. All means good and bad. All means your successes and your failures, your gains, your losses, your friends, your enemies. All means that even this lockdown, it 
works for your good. Hear me, child of God. This lockdown is working for our good in the name of Jesus. From this lockdown, hear me, we will emerge wiser, better, and stronger. Let me say it again. From this lockdown, child of God, you and I, we will emerge wiser, better, and stronger in the name of Jesus because all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Hear me, child of God. Every storm that comes into your life, it either destroys you or develops you. Every storm that comes into your life, your family, your career, your business, it either destroys you or develops you. I want to challenge you right now in the name of Jesus to use this present crisis and situation in our country, your country, and the nations of the world to develop yourself in the name of Jesus. Do not allow the crisis before you to destroy you. Use it for your advantage in the name of Jesus. Everything works together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Today we read and celebrate a even preach about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three Hebrew boys became great because they went through some storms. The Bible tells us that they were thrown into the fiery furnace that was meant to destroy them. That was their storm, their crisis, their persecution, but they emerged stronger, better, and wiser. Right now as I speak, you might be going through your personal crisis in your business, in your career, in your marriage, in your family. Don't die in your storm. Don't die in your crisis. Rise up in the power of God. Everything works together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Hear me, child of God. Champions ride on the wings of their storms. Oh, this is powerful. Champions ride on the wings of their storms. Allow this storm that is meant to destroy you to carry you to the next level of your life. There is a book that I wrote and finished in the year 2018 after I went through a personal storm in my ministry and my church. Somehow, I did not feel the edge to release this book. Now I know why. It is because God wanted this thing to go full cycle. God allows your storm, your crisis, your persecution to go full cycle so that when it begins to bless you, even those that wanted to destroy you, they will see the blessing of God upon your life. That is why David says, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, the child of God, when God is ready to bless you, he does not only send invitation cards to your friends, but your enemies as well to come and witness as he blesses you. Next year, when we celebrate 35 years, of ministry and church on the hill, I will officially launch this book with the title Shaped by the Storms. Shaped by the Storms. Hear me, child of God, your storms come into your life to shape you into a great leader, to shape you into a great human being. Don't allow the storms to destroy you in the name of Jesus when the whirlwind has Past. The wicked are no more, but the righteous stand firm forever. Hear me, child of God. There is no permanent storm. There is no permanent crisis. There is no permanent persecution. Storms come. Storms go. When they pass by, you must stand and say on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Remember, I'm preaching to you on this topic, the name of the Lord is your strong tower. Let's read Proverbs 18, verse number 10. 
The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. I like it in the NIV version of the Bible. It says the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. The name of the Lord, child of God, is your strong tower. The name of the Lord, child of God, is your fortified tower, meaning well-secured tower. The righteous run to it, and they are safe. The righteous run to it, and they are safe. The name of the Lord is our strong tower. What do we mean by fortified tower? We mean a tower that is protected, a tower that is heavily guarded, a tower that is well guarded by soldiers, a tower that has huge walls around it, a tower that cannot be penetrated. I want you to know, child of God, that the name of the Lord is your strong tower. When you hide or abide in the name of the Lord, the devil and his demons will not be able to touch you because that tower is heavily guarded. That tower cannot be penetrated in the name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord to you today, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. Hear me right now. The Bible says they run to it and they are safe. Running for me suggests that this person, he or so her life is under threat. This person, he is or her life is such that the devil or the enemies want to destroy. That is why he runs into the tower. She runs into this fortified stronghold, running for me suggests that the situation is serious. It is a matter of death and life. That is why you have to run. You don't just walk into the tower. You don't stroll into the tower. You run into the tower because you understand that should your enemies catch you before you reach the tower, that will be the end of your life. Hear me, child of God, when it comes to the things of God, when it comes to the name of the Lord, we have to run into our strong tower. God was telling me as I was praying that we are entering into a season, even as a church, we are entering into a season, even as a church, where people will not just walk to church and stroll to church, but they will be running to church because they understand that a church, that's where they receive their breakthroughs and their miracles. God was telling me that he's bringing us into a season as a church, a season of revival, a season of the presence of God, a season of the power of God, a season of the glory of God. God was telling me that he's bringing us into a season where we will experience his presence his power and his glory. God told me in the name of Jesus to even tell you that the cloud and the fire of the presence of God are going to cover our entire church. The glory of the latter house will far exceed the glory of the former house. God is about to shake heaven and earth and release his glory, his power, and his presence upon you in the name of Jesus. Revival is coming upon South Africa. Revival is about to hit Africa. Revival is about to hit the entire globe. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I can hear the sound of revival. I can hear the footsteps of revival is about to hit your country, is about to hit my country, is about to hit the nations of the world in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it 
and they are saved. This is the word of the Lord to you this morning. That I'm preaching in the name of Jesus. That the name of the Lord is your strong tower. My strong tower. Our strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. So I've just given you this prophetic utterance from God. Those who believe it will see it, touch it, taste it. But those who don't believe it, seeing it, they will see it. But touching it, they will not touch it. Tasting it, they will not touch, taste it. So the name of the Lord is your strong tower. In times like this, we need a place of refuge. In times like this, we need a habitation. Hear me, child of God, the devil is roaming around, roaring like a lion, seeking whom to devour. That is why when he begins to roar, when he begins to attack, we must run into the name of the Lord, which is our strong tower. Let me read for you Psalms 61 from verse number 1 to verse number 4. If you are watching right now this message or listening to this message, I want you to know that the name of the Lord is your strong tower. You have to run or escape into this tower that is well protected and surrounded by the angels of God. Psalm 61, I'm reading from verse number 1 to verse number 4 in the New Living Translation. You can read it in your own translation, I don't mind. Oh God, listen to my cry. So this man is praying to God. This is the time for us, South Africa, to pray. This is the time for us, Africa, to pray. This is the time for us, Europe, America, all the nations of the world, to pray. This is the time for your family to call upon the name of the Lord. He says, oh God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer from the ends of the earth. I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. When my heart is overwhelmed with trouble, when my heart is overwhelmed with pain, when my heart is overwhelmed with what I'm going through right now, I cry to you. I cry to you, oh God, for help when my heart is overwhelmed. And it says, lead me to the towering rock of safety. Oh, bless God. He said, leads me, or lead me rather, to the towering rock of safety. For you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. He says, lead me into a towering rock of safety. For you are my safe refuge. Hear this. Safe refuge. A fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. So God is your fortress where your enemies cannot reach you. Where your enemies cannot touch you. And it says, let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. He says, let me live safe, oh God, in your sanctuary. There is a safe place. Hear me? There is a safe place where the devil will not be able to touch you. Hear me, child of God? The situation in our country is overwhelming to say the least. The governments of the world, including our own government, they are doing everything, everything in, in their power possible to respond to this crisis before us with limited resources. They are doing their best to protect their citizens. But hear me, child of God, they don't have all the answers. They are limited. They don't have all the resources. But today, let me declare to you or pronounce to you the God that I serve, who has all the power, who has all what it takes 
to respond to the crisis. He is the omnipotent God, all powerful. He does not have some power. He has all the power. There is no crisis he cannot solve. There is no problem he cannot solve. Take your problems and give them to the omnipotent God. He is omnipresent. He is everywhere. He is with you right now. He is with your relatives and your friends right now. In the name of Jesus, he is omniscient. He has all the knowledge. He has all the wisdom. Today, I declare to you the power of the omnipotent God. May he be with you. He is that strong tower, that fortified city which the devil cannot touch. Let me introduce to you this God. He is El Shaddai. Oh, he has all the power. He is El Shaddai. He has all the power. He can do the impossible. He is Jehovah the Lord, the God of the armies, the God of warfare. He is Jehovah Shammah, the God who is always there. He promised in his word that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He said he will be with you until the end of the age. He is Jehovah Shammah. Hear me, child of God. This God that I'm declaring to you right now is Jehovah Jireh, the one who provides. Who told you that during this season in your country, Jehovah Jireh will not provide? Who told you that when the economy of your country is downgraded, even Jehovah Jireh is downgraded? Let me say this to you. He still sits on the throne. He reigns forever. Jehovah Jireh will provide for you. This Jehovah that I call Jehovah Rohi, our faithful shepherd, will be with you everywhere you go. This God that is Jehovah Rafika, your healer, he heals you from this disease, from this coronavirus. This Jehovah is Jehovah Shalom, your peace. He's the one that says to you, peace be still. Right now in the name of Jesus, I declare peace be still in your marriage. Peace be still in your family, in your career and your business. Remember the name of the Lord is your strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. Let's go to Psalms 46. I'm reading from verse number one. God is our refuge and our strength. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in trouble. I love this one. He is your very present help in trouble. Meaning that God is looking for people that are in trouble to help them. If you are in trouble right now, I want you to know that you are a candidate for God's help. And it says, therefore we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though all the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of hell. She shall not be moved. The Bible says God is in your midst. And because God is in your midst, you shall not be moved. You shall not be shaken. You shall not be destroyed by the devil. Oh, there is a powerful song that we used to sing many years ago. It says, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee. He's mighty, he's mighty. And I saw him, I lifted up with power, grace, and authority. And this God shall reign in the midst of thee forever and ever and ever. Child of God, hear me. God is in your midst. God is with you right now. God is with your family right now. God is with South Africa, Africa and the nations of the world right now. His hand is not too short to save. 
Verse number five says, God shall help him. Just as the break of dawn, the nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The God of Jacob is our strong tower. And it says, come. This is an invitation. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars to cease and yearn to the end of the earth. If God can make wars to cease, it means the same God can make your trouble to cease even this coronavirus. He breaks the bow and casts the spear into two. He burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I love this one. Be still and know that I am God. Child of God, be still and know that he is God. This time, be still and know that he is God. He is your God. He is my God. He is our God. He is God in my nation. He is God in your nation. He is God in the nations of the world. And the Bible says, as we continue reading, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God, the God of Jacob, brother, is our refuge. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The God of Jacob is the God of the church. He is your God. He is our God. Let me finish. Again, Proverbs 18 verse 10, we read this one. The name of the Lord is our strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. This is our hiding place in times of storms. This is the secret place that the Bible talks about in Psalms 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. This is that secret place, the strong tower, the fortified tower. When you are in that strong tower here, my child of God, you don't fear anything, you don't fear anyone because you know it is heavily protected and guarded. When you are in that strong tower, you sleep like a baby because you know that Jehovah watches over you day and night. The Bible says, surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from some deadly pestilence. Let me simplify this one. Apostle, what do you mean by deadly pestilence? I mean terrible diseases, including the one before us. The Lord is able to deliver. The Lord is able to save. The Bible says, surely he shall deliver you. Surely he shall deliver your family. Surely he shall deliver our nation. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The Russians run to it and they are safe. Jesus says to his disciples in Mark 16 verses 17 and 18, In my name, in my name, you shall lay hands on the sick. In my name, you shall deliver the bound. In my name, you'll perform miracle signs and wonders. In my name, the name of the Lord carries the power. The name of Jesus carries the authority. He says, in my name, that name is our strong tower. The Bible tells us in Philippians 2, from verse number 9, that God raised Jesus from the dead and he gave him a name again. He gave him a name which is our strong tower. That in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is the message that I came to declare to you today. To your family, my country, your country, and the nations of the world that we have a name that is above every name. The name of the Lord, which is our strong tower. The season has come, the time has come for all of us.
to run into this name for protection, for safety. Hear me, child of God. Hold on to the name of Jesus. Hold on to the name of Jesus. Tell your children that they have a refuge. Tell your family members that they have a strong tower. I have told my family members, my wife, my children, my parents, my siblings, and their family members that they should not fear during this time because we have a refuge. We have a strong tower. Talk to your children and say, my children, fear not. We have a refuge. We have a strong tower. Right now, if you are listening or watching this message and you know in your heart that you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to pray for you right now. He came for you. He died for you. He carried your sins. You don't have to die in your sins. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Please pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, with my mouth, I confess that you are Lord. With my heart, I believe that God raised you from the dead. Today, I give you my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Father, I thank you that according to your word right now, I am born again, I'm saved, I'm a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, everything is new. Welcome into the family of God. Now that you've made this prayer from your heart, you are born again, you are saved, your sins are forgiven, you are a child of God. Let me pray for all of you right now. I release a blessing upon you in the name of Jesus. If you are sick in your body, I declare healing upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever trouble that you're going through, may the Lord deliver you. May the Lord deliver you. May you receive your miracle and your breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Please share your testimonies with us and continue to connect online to watch our services and enjoy the word of God every Monday to Friday. My wife, early in the morning at 5, she prays. Leading you in prayer. Invite your friends on Zoom and connect from 5 to 6. That's the first group. The second group is from 6 to 7. These prayers are on Zoom. My wife teaches you how to pray, but also she leads you in prayer. We need prayer during this time. But also in the evening, we continue to teach you the word of God and to pray for you. God bless you. We love you. This is Apostle MDG Lipoko of Church on the Hill. Making you brighter, better, and bigger. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I pronounce upon you peace, protection, prosperity, perfect health, the power of God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.